Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's Judging here on Everyday Funko. So this is the episode that we go into the all the ones that we've gone over in this last week and that we've unboxed. And I let you know which ones are going to be staying in the collection and which ones are going to be going for sale. Normally I would put them up locally. I have a store that I can sign, but I'm actually going to be starting my own web store coming up in the next two weeks. So most of the Funkos are going to end up going on there. I have 750, 800, I haven't done a count in a really long time, but I've ordered a lot of big lots, so I have way too many that need to be sold, and I think this would be a really great platform for me to get into, and then eventually wholesaling through Funko, and then I can have all of the newest ones coming right to my door, which would be really exciting. Anyways, let's start with the judging. Our first two that we opened was the Collector's Corp Wonder Woman box. This, So that's the only thing that's not Batman, everything else is Batman related. Anyways, the Maru is so beautiful. This figure is, she actually blows Wonder Woman for me out, like when it comes to the figures. There's just so much cool detailing in her boots. Everything's glistening and glowing. Her goggles, like her face piece, everything on this figure is really epically awesome. And I definitely will be keeping her in my collection. So far, this is the best Wonder Woman out of all of the ones that I've seen so far. So she is going to be a keep for sure. I love Wonder Woman. So I like the fact that they did gold on her lasso and they didn't actually do the bright kind of electric yellow, which they could have done, which I think would have really ruined this figure. It's just a very beautifully done piece. And of course, Collector's Corps generally, their paint jobs are generally above par compared to a lot of Funkos, but there also have been some misses. Anyways, those two are going to be staying in the collection for sure. So then we have the Two-Face Imposter Batman, who is like Art Deco beautiful. Like he's not even like beautiful on the level of Maru and the paint job on that one, but he's just so funky and different and cool. And I just love his cool little grin. Like everything about this figure is pretty epically awesome. He is definitely a keeper. He's going to be staying. The um, SummerCon Batman from the Batman vs. Supermass with his, his mask on, not happening. Is just not staying. He's a fail for me. I don't like him. I don't like the coloration of his suit. I don't like, I just, there's so much about this figure that really is a fail for me so kind of lame on that one and a lot of muck-ups on his head and a lot of them are like that and it's just really sad they almost look like they're used toys which is kind of unfortunate like that's really kind of sad for something that is an exclusive that people are paying to kind of take home so anyways the next one was from the dc legion of collector's box this was the you know mr freeze so loving this figure Unfortunately, a bit of a bummer is there is a big glue mudge in there that they, like, obviously somebody, when they were going to glue the pieces together, a bit got on there and they just wiped it out. And it really kind of is a little unsightly and kind of bugs me. I contacted them and they're not willing to replace it, which is kind of lame in a lot of ways because DC um, Collector's Corpse, which I think, I'm pretty sure they're all the same company, but for some reason they completely replaced my Wolverine when it had a big muck up in the paint on his head. So, and they actually sent me a full one and they were, yeah. So anyways, that was kind of a little unfortunate and a little bit of a bummer. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to get rid of them. I really love them, but I will definitely be looking for a loose replacement for this one for sure. And hopefully that a friend of mine's getting his this week. So it'll be interesting to see if he has the same type of scripts inside the helmet. So anyway, going on, the next one was the negative Batman. Love it. Love this figure. The obscure, cool, old DC comic ones, like the zebra and bullseye that we're going to get to, they're just too awesome and too freaking cool to not have in the collection. They're just really neat, beautifully painted, no damage. Definitely going to be keeping those ones. Getting to the Nightmare Batman, I love him. I love the trench coat. I love the difference between the other ones that all have the capes. I really, 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 really love this Batman. The dirtying of the like way they tried to make him look dirty is just great. His shadowy beard, everything really translates and transfers from that movie scene into this figure, and it wins hands down for me. The next one is the Arkham Night Batman lame. Sorry, I don't like it. I know there was somebody else on YouTube that said they really did love it, 
I just don't like it. I, uh, his smooshy in face just doesn't win it for me. I'm really sorry. I don't, I don't love it. You love it. Cool. Maybe you want to buy it off my web store when I get my web store going and give him a home. So yes. Anyway, obviously the hot topic two pack bullseye and zebra batman are definitely staying in the collection they're just as i said too cool i kind of went right from negative batman to them and they're just they're really funky and they're really cool and they're so unique part of comic history that i want to kind of keep that in my collection for sure so two of them don't make the cut this week which is you know not bad i know i should be probably trying to purge a few more but I just love them so much and they're just so much fun and they bring me a lot of joy when I look at them on the shelf and play with them. I do play with my toys. I definitely get in there and yeah, I mean, who doesn't? They're just super cool and they look neat and they're fun. So I can see why people obviously get into collecting Funkos and why it's, I mean, the new shining ones that are coming out definitely got my pre-orders in for those. I want those Chase exclusives. They're just too epic. I wish we had a Target here in Canada. We don't anymore. So that's going to be really hard to get. Those exclusives, which they weren't coming up here anyways when we did have Target for like a year that we had it here in Victoria. Anyway, so that's the judging on this week. So let me know in the comments what you think. Did I keep the right ones? Did I get rid of the right ones? I mean, everyone's opinion is kind of a little bit different, but I still love hearing your thoughts. Subscribe below. Every week is going to be a new judging. Every day is going to be a new review. I mean, hopefully every day. I don't know if I'm going to get a review in today, but this is going to, you know, kind of take the cake. Tomorrow, I'm going to get up early and I'm going to rip open all these boxes and we're going to go through all these figures and it's going to be really neat to be able to just do that on the show. So big things happening this week, new websites coming, web store coming, so much is happening. I don't even know how I'm going to get this, this sorted out and figured out, but I'm going to make it happen. Anyways, thanks for tuning into Everyday Funko and I will see you all in the next review.